Welcome to the second week of our course. My name is Ashley Bolsucko McKim, and I'm a graduate student at UMass Boston. My general research interests are in the processes that occur at the land-water interface, particularly those that are impacted by human activities. I expect my future research to revolve around the alteration of biogeochemical cycling as a result of enhanced nutrient loading, and hope to draw linkages to the structure and function of microbial communities. Last week's material focused on natural history, how things were formed and how things have naturally changed. This week's material will focus more on the human history of our place and the impacts that we have on coastal environments. As we mentioned last week, humans are one of the most influential drivers of change through urban coastal development and pollution. Therefore, many byproducts of human-driven change are undesirable, like polluted water bodies and biodiversity loss. Understanding how and what we've changed in the environment is an important step towards minimizing and mitigating human impacts, both locally and globally. This week, we'll visit with three staff members from the National Park Service, who will tell us about the human history of the Boston Harbor Islands. These islands became a part of the National Park due to their very rich human and natural history. We'll also speak with Dr. Frankich, who will talk about changes in the Savin Hill Cove just outside the UMass Boston campus. This area, although degraded and polluted, still contains many naturally growing species and habitats. We'll travel back to Nantucket, where Dr. Oktai will demonstrate several ways in which we can monitor water quality. She will also explain some of the key concepts related to water quality in a salt marsh habitat. Lastly, we'll head to Wellfleet again, where Kurt Felix will explain why the local oyster reef restoration is important to both the local community and the future of the harbor. This oyster reef restoration project is novel as it applies interdisciplinary science and biomimicry in order to solve environmental issues and concerns. The second week's lab will focus on how humans are impacting coastal water quality with excess nutrient inputs. Even though nutrients are essential for growth, too much of a good thing can lead to unwanted consequences like eutrophication or excessive algae blooms. Therefore, it is imperative that we understand the source of nutrient input, both natural and human-derived, and explore possible solutions to help naturally restore our coastal habitats. We hope you will enjoy learning from the materials that we've prepared, and we look forward to hearing from you.